click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in this lecture we are going to study the free space propagation model but before moving on to the free space propagation model let us first understand what is the path loss that has been observed there are various kind of path loss the first one is called as large scale path loss model let us understand what this means <music> the propagation model that estimates the mean signal strength of the transmitted signal in order to identify the coverage area when the transmitter receiver distance is very large is called as large scale path loss model means here we are trying to understand how much is the loss that has been occurred within this larger transmitter receiver distance let us first understand why we require to calculate the path loss when we are transmitting the signal in the free space there are various obstructions and then there are various parameters which lead to the attenuation of the signal hence we require to calculate the path loss larger path loss models and smaller path loss models give us this flexibility to calculate the attenuation in the signal let us next move on to the small scale path loss model the propagation models that are characterized by a rapid fluctuation in the signal in a shorter time duration or a shorter distance between the transmitter and the receiver are called as small scale path loss models now we will move on to the free space propagation model in free space propagation model it is assumed that the free space means there is a line of sight between the transmitter and the receiver means there is no obstruction between the transmitter and receiver since there is no obstruction we are able to calculate the signal strength of the received signal let us see how this is done the free space power that has been received by the receiving antenna having a certain distance d between the transmitter and the receiver this received power is given by the fris free space equation which is written as pr of d which stands for the received power at a distance d is equal to pt gt gr lambda square upon 4 pi the whole square d square l where pr d stands for the received power at certain distance d pt stands for the transmitted power gr stands for the receiver antenna gate gt stands for the transmitter antenna gain lambda as we all know is the wavelength upon it is d square which means the square of the distance between the transmitter and the receiver and l stands for the path loss and l stands for the path loss or it is also known as system loss factor the gain of the antenna gt and gr is also given by 4 pi ae upon lambda square where ae stands for the antenna aperture which depends on the dimension or the size of the antenna lambda as we know it is given by c by f where c is nothing but the speed of light in free space upon the frequency which also can be written as 2 pi c upon omega c where omega c is the angular frequency let us now understand what is the meaning of an isotropic radiator an isotropic radiator in an antenna is an ideal radiator which transmits in all the direction with the same unit gain this antenna is used as a reference antennas for other antennas to understand the gain pattern the effective isotropic radiator power or the eirp is defined as eirp is equal to pt into gt where pt stands for the transmitted power and gt stands for the gain of the transmitted antenna now let us see what is the meaning of path loss so path loss is basically the signal attenuation which occurs as the difference between the transmitted power and the received power the path loss in a free space model when the antenna gains are included is given by this formula pl in db that is path loss in decibels is given by 10 log pt upon pr that is the transmitted power upon the received power the same thing can also be written as minus 10 log of gt gr lambda square upon 4 pi the whole square into d square 
when the antenna gains are excluded and the antennas are assumed to have a unit gain then the same formula reduces to pl in db is equal to 10 log pt upon pr which is equal to minus 10 log of lambda square upon 4 pi the whole square into d square let us now see one more concept of the fraunhofer distance the far field distance or the fraunhofer distance of a transmitting antenna is defined as a region beyond the far field at a distance df which is related to the largest dimension of the transmitting antenna dimensions as well as the wavelength now let us see how this fraunhofer distance is given as df is equal to 2 capital D the whole square upon lambda where capital D stands for the dimensions of the antenna. There are certain conditions on this Fraunhofer distance which is given as df should be greater than capital D also df should be greater than lambda. Now let us move on to the numerical. So the question is given as find the Fraunhofer distance for an antenna with maximum dimension of 1 meter and an operating frequency of 900 megahertz. If the antennas have unit gain, then calculate the path loss. Let us try to solve this problem. Let us first write down the given information. The operating frequency is given as 900 megahertz and the dimension of the antenna is given as 1 meters. So the capital D over here is 1 meter. We are asked to find the Fraunhofer distance. So let us first write down the formula for the Fraunhofer distance which is given as df is equal to 2 capital D square upon lambda. We have the frequency which is given as 900 megahertz. So let us calculate the value of lambda. Lambda is given as c upon f which is equal to So the value of lambda turns out to 0.33 meters. Let us use this value of lambda to find the Fraunhofer distance. The value of capital D is given as 1. So the value of Fraunhofer distance is 6 meters. Finally, we have been asked to find the path loss. Let us write down the equation for the path loss. So we have put all the values over here. So the final answer comes out to 47 dB. Path loss is given as 47 dB in this scenario. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and subscribe to Ikeda.